What's going on guys, my name is Epic Soren, and we're going to be playing some more Banished. I am now on my upgraded computer, which is awesome and amazing and can run Banished at like, easily, because my laptop had no problem doing it either. This is like a walk in the park for my new computer. But we're going to do Season 2 of Banished. I have some new mods that I will explain as I get to them during the gameplay. And I guess we'll just dive right in. Let's see, what do we want to name it? Let's name it after my mom. Oops. V I L L E, right? That's how you spell Ville. There we go. Name it after my mom. Now, the first mod I have here gives me a couple more. Um, options for uh, where we're going to be building and uh, one of those normally we only have valleys and mountains right now I can do a swamp or plains or a big lake or a crater or flooded plains or a caldera I am personally going to go with plains and it also makes gives us larger and huge terrain sizes and I'm gonna go with huge because we want a lot of space to play here I mean my computer can handle it no problem I'm gonna keep the disasters on we're gonna have the mild uh, let's go with a fair climate we're gonna go hard of course no other way to play the game really so let's go and it loads so fast well aside from creating the massive map. Creating this map takes about the same time as it took my laptop to create a small map. <sighs> hmm, a little tired here, but we'll see how how well this, uh, this goes. Stocking the rivers with fish, waiting for herbs to grow. It's gonna take away already, so right off the bat we're gonna go pause, and I'm gonna pop up my boxes here, my professions tab, my event log, and my, um, what do you call that, the general statistics tab thing, yeah. So I'm going to have those, and the little fraps uh, 60 sign up there is covering that up, but that's no big deal. I'm also going to go into mods now, and I'm going to disable some of these that I don't want. Okay, there we go. Now it's just going to reload the map without those mods enabled, which will change just a few things already. So we're back, and let's zoom out. Awesome, we got a lake right here. That is going to make this game much easier than the past couple ones I've been doing. So first, right off the bat, we're going to go place down a fishing dock right here on the coast of this lake. Set it back onto the land as far as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and just lay out some basic roads here. Do that, and then I'm going to put down a stockpile uh, let's put the stockpile in some open space we'll make it uh, 5 by 6 is probably a good size and then we'll put down a barn so that our fishermen will have a place to take our food and we'll tell our people to remove all these resources in that box we go and we hit play and speed it up to um, for the sake of the video we'll make it 10 stone and logs are low yes I am aware okay, we need to assign some builders we only really need two because two gets the job done which is fine Oh, 
Wow. Got that built real fast. So we'll go ahead and assign four fishermen for now. And got the barn set up. And I'm gonna go ahead and make another road here. Like this. Just lay out some more roads. They're gonna go ahead and keep removing all those resources, aside from the four fishermen. Now we gotta go house it. So one, two, three, four. And we'll see if we can make it farther than we did in Fox, which was, just in case you missed it, last season where everybody died in episode six. We'll see if we can make it, you know, farther in this episode. So we've got our builders going ahead and put up some houses now. So we got one family moved in, the two, two of the fishermen, which makes sense, and then two children. That's good, we got children right away. Very good. Is nobody gonna, you know, do their job? Oh, right, right, they're gonna go ahead and clear out this stuff. The laborers will, before they go ahead and clear out all this stuff. Probably just build that one right there, because they could right away. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have our new houses up really quickly. And now I'm gonna slow it down to... Uh, we'll keep it at five, just so it's going. I'm gonna give us a new camera angle. So we got our nice little town of Lindaville here, named after my amazing mother. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. It's not Mother's Day. There we go. There we go. So we got our four houses set up. Um, next thing we need is a woodcutter. Do that. Alrighty. And the builders will get that put up right away, I think. And we also are going to want a gatherer's hut, because we can build one of those right away too. Just go ahead and plop that down out there in the woods because they need firewood right away and all we have to eat right now is fish so we got 2,000 fish we should not have a problem with that nice thing about this computer 1080p sad thing about this computer 1080p so the file's gonna be huge take forever to upload Alright, so we got our one woodcutter there, we're going to back off to, uh, actually no, we can keep two builders around for now, but after we get that gatherer's hut built, I think we will call it an episode. A child named, I don't even want to try and pronounce that, a child was born, that is good, who had it, who had the baby? they did. These people need to start being productive members of society. Reserve of firewood is low. Yes, I am aware. And dang, they are pumping out the fish. We're just gonna fill up the barn with fish at this rate. And where is the... There is. My mouse is so sensitive in this computer. I love it. I have this new keyboard too. If you guys want to see my new computer, like see what I put into this thing, let me get let me know in the comments, and I will go ahead and tell you guys what is in this baby, because it is a bad computer. I mean, like it, bad is in the good way, you know, like like sick or wicked. You know what I mean? Nobody talks like that anymore, Soren. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet. Okay, how's our gatherers hut going? We got our builders working on it. Yes, we do. That is awesome. I guess I could go ahead and put down a hunting cabin behind it. Or next to it. I guess we might as well, right? So I'll put 
two of our people into gathering. We're just everything needs to go into food production at this point of the game. Everything. I mean everything. How are we doing on tools? Nine and four. And that's all in the cart, right? Yeah. So if I go and I say to remove the structure, basically to put the cart in here, it's gonna tell me tools is low and clothing is low and all that because now this cart it doesn't it doesn't think we have anything in it. So anyone on their free time is gonna go put the stuff in the shed. At least they should. And our one builder is gonna go ahead and clear that all by himself and anyone with free time. Which we don't have any free time right now because everyone is focusing on mass producing food. Dang, we're already halfway to the food limit. I'm not gonna raise that right away because we just don't need to. No one is turning into laborers fast enough. Okay, we still gotta remove all the stuff from there. Where is our builder right now? He's picking up resources. Okay, that makes sense. As soon as spring comes around, we will call this an episode. Right now it is early winter. We already have people without tools. Right, because nobody's gonna empty that right away. I guess we could just use all the stuff out of that right away. Idling. Already. Huh? Why don't you have a tool? We. It's not like we're out of tools. We have nine of them still. Holy cow, look at that food though. Should not have a problem keeping our people well fed, that's for sure. And our one builder is just slowly building up that hunting cabin. That is good, we'll keep them doing that. That's awesome, we got another laborer, which is good because then that person should come help clear up this stuff. It's working. Looks like she is, whoa. Oh yeah, the autosave causes it to kind of freeze up for a little bit. Looks like she's going out there, right? That's our laborer, our one laborer. Yeah, picking up resources. Alrighty, so we got the hunting cabin almost cleared off. It is now late winter and we hit the food limit and the firewood limit. We're going to bump the firewood limit up to 500 and we will let our fishermen uh, work as laborers right now, which is really nice. They work as laborers when they're not uh, fishing, if they hit the limit like that, which is good. How's that going. How much are they producing? 412 one season. Dang. Okay, so I'm gonna bump this up to two builders so we can get that hunting cabin built prob preferably before the end of the episode. We've got a whole bunch of babies being born, which is awesome. These people are now productive members of society, and we've got people turning into laborers. And we'll have another one of them turning into a laborer real soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and have them build one more house. That way we can have those people turn into families as well. What? No, just go straight out. Yeah, like that. And then... There we go. So we'll eventually end up with this being a full, you know, block of houses. 
nobody's producing wood right now, so everyone's kind of just idling around, which is perfectly fine. I mean, we've got way more food than we can, you know, possibly use. I'm gonna bump one of them back to labor just in case somebody, you know, dies of childbirth or something. And since we're on this main river, we're gonna want to build a trading post ASAP so we can get some seeds and stuff. And I think we're gonna use firewood as our main source of trading. And they're not gonna do any hunting either, because, like, like I said, we're at the food limit. I guess I could just go ahead and bump up the food limit. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, 6,000. Just bump it up a little bit. So people actually go do stuff. And, yeah, there we go. That person, Jade, that turned into a laborer is now living by herself until... August, probably. Or... Millie. That is a girl's name. Agus or Millie. Whoever turns 10 first will probably move in with Jade. Right? That's when they turn into laborers, unless they go to school, right? At 10? I don't quite remember. Well, it is springtime now, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Season 2 of Vanished in Lindaville this year. Or this season. Agus has become an adult and is working as a laborer, and he moved in with Jade. Of course. Love you guys, peace, thank you so much for watching, and bye.